After a gamma is finally here, and we've been seeing some major advances toward the production of the SEV with the recent partnerships with Maxan Solar Technologies for the production of Aptera's solar panels. We've also seen the evolution of the Aptera from the Alpha through to the Gamma revealed at the fully charged live event in San Diego, and there have been some major improvements in the car's interior and exterior working so far. In today's video, we will be continuing the list of all the year changes that we noticed so far as we look back from the Alpha to the Gamma. Hi, this is Echo Electric, where we talk about all things concerning EVs. Remember to like the video. If you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. Let's get into the video. So, in the first part of this two-part video series, we covered the production background for Aptera. We went over the four phases of development for the Aptera, explained the progress through each phase and how we got to where we are. So, if you haven't watched that video, then be sure to check out part one of the series. Link below the like button. Anyways, we mentioned that when Aptera set out to build the most efficient solar electric vehicle on the planet, they broke down their development phases into four key stages, that is the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta phase. The alpha phase included the early prototypes to validate their basic design and engineering with three models released during this phase. First was the NOR, and later on was the Sol in June 2021. And finally, the Luna as covered in the previous video. The second phase of production for Aptera was the beta phase in which test mules were used to evaluate dynamics and transit vehicle behavior back in January 2020. The gamma phase is the third of four phases that incorporates the development of vehicles to represent production intent functionalities and features. Aptera recently unveiled the Gamma at the fully charged live event in San Diego, close to Aptera's home base, and we have been learning a lot about the car since then. The Delta is the final phase of production, and it is the production intent vehicle. Customers will take delivery of the Aptera Delta phase, the final production car for Aptera SEV. In the previous video, we also went over seven key changes we've observed from the Alpha through to the Gamma. We talked about the battery pack sizes that would be made available and the order in which they would be released. We talked about the number of PV cells on the car, the controversial steering yoke, the alterations to the exterior, body shape details, and about the development of the third seat for the Aptera and when we can expect it. The quality of interior materials being used and the number of vents on the Aptera were also talked about. So with that background out of the way, we can continue with the list in this second part of the video. Don't forget to check out the link to the first part below the like button. Let's continue the list from Number 9. The Tesla Charging Port The Tesla Charging Port is also confirmed as production intent for the Aptera. The Tesla Charging Port is without doubt the most reliable and best designed charging port on the market today. In a video about charging on Aptera's YouTube channel, Chris had a lot of positive things to say about the Aptera Tesla charging port, dubbing it as the future of charging in the EV industry. We come over here to the Tesla charging standard and we see something much different. You don't have to take off any cover when you go to charge. And the handle that you're charging with is much, much sleeker. This handle does 250 kilowatts of charging and you plug it in just like that. To unplug, the Tesla charging plug, you just pull it out. That's it. Here's the differences. This or this? This or this? Our government is about to install thousands and thousands of charging stations with this. This is a fifth of the cost. We're now planning to spend $5 billion on this. We could get five times the charging infrastructure with this. Steve and I think that this is the future. Number 10, the glowing Aptera logo. The Aptera's illuminating emblem on the side is now back live with RGB light. This is meant to display the charging process and communicate to the owner what is going on from the outside. However, the RGB version may not see the final production. 
We do know that it will most likely be a white illuminating logo. Anyways, let us know what you think will become of this glowing logo in the comments section below. Number 11. Rearview Cameras Rearview cameras have also been confirmed on the Aptera. The first is a stamp camera that replaces the rearview mirror, and the second is a fisheye camera for parking. The transition will be automatic, with the parking view displaying on the main dashboard screen, meaning you will have two cameras to help you park at the same time. Number 12. Windshield Wiper There's now a windshield wiper. The current one on the Gamma is made of metal, but the one on the Delta will likely be made of carbon fiber to keep the weight down even further. Number 13. Bluetooth and USB Charging Bluetooth and USB charging has also both been confirmed on the Aptera, and we can expect to see them in the Delta for sure. Number 14. New Pedal Designs The pedals on the Gamma version was made from repurposed maple skateboard decks. Now, rumor has it that these will not be used in final production, but we will see something extremely close, because everything in the Gamma design is meant to be design intent, meaning it'll be very similar in the final production vehicle. Number 15. Actual Driving Mirrors The addition of actual driving mirrors came as a surprise to some people. For those of you who are unaware, Aptera has been pushing to eliminate the need for mirrors in favor of cameras, and this push was on the basis of aerodynamic reasons. So far, they've been unsuccessful, and all they've had is a strip of reflective material that meets the legal criteria. However, it appears that they have decided to proceed with actual mirrors. Despite the fact that the mirrors are designed to be readily removed by users. Number 16. Ground Clearance The Aptera Gamma had a fairly low ground clearance, about 3.5 inches above the ground. The reason for this is simply due to aerodynamics. This height may present problems for some people, and it remains to be seen whether Aptera will raise it in the final production model of the vehicle. Number 17. Bidirectional Charging or Vehicle to Grid Vehicle to Grid feature lets the vehicle have the ability to both be charged and also be able to charge. Not only can the vehicle charge from your house, the car can also supply power to your house. This will enable you to use the car as a battery system. In case you have a power outage at your house, your car will keep the lights on. Aptera is looking to incorporate bi-directional charging, otherwise known as vehicle-to-grid charging. Bi-directional charging makes it possible to charge the batteries of electric vehicles and take the energy stored in the car batteries to push it back to the power grid to help balance momentary spikes in electricity. Bi-directional charging is powered by vehicle-to-grid or V2G technology. We've already seen this technology incorporated in EVs, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Lucid Air, the Nissan Leaf Z1, and the Mitsubishi Outlander and Eclipse plug-in hybrids. It would really be cool to have this feature embedded into Aptera's design. How about with efficiency in mind? This particular feature hasn't been confirmed yet, so it's safe to say it's just a rumor for now. But what do you think? Can Aptera succeed in incorporating V2G technology before deliveries begin? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. If you have any questions you'd like to have answered regarding Aptera's SEV, be sure to write them in the comments section below so that I or someone else can provide an answer for you. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow and cover more EV-related innovations. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.